What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Retro Hero here and as promised we are unboxing the 2020 Tops Collectors Edition Garbage Pail Kids Late to School box. Uh, inside in includes an exclusive lunch box, 24 packs, uh, 8 stickers per pack. Uh, packs with special inserts may only contain three to five cards. Uh, inside of here, you're going to have something that says exclusive premium content. Look for uh, the exclusive parallels, wacky packages, school pennant patch cards, shaped sketch cards, and more. So uh, it has been 24 hours since the release of this baby. Mine was pre-ordered from Steel City Collectibles uh, many months ago. I just got the one um, collector's edition. And then of course, uh, for my collection, I have a, a hobby box that uh, will probably remain unopened. We'll see. Um, so I've, you know, I've been on Facebook. I've been on the Garbage Pail Kid collector forums. Um, a lot of people talking about this. You know, some people bought a case of these and opened up eight boxes and got three hits, a gold, a sketch, um, a wacky packages card. Some boxes didn't have any. Uh, hits in it. And that's uh, maybe kind of new for Tops. You know, Tops in the past normally guaranteed a hit uh, for sure in the collector's edition box. So um, I don't know if that is a change this year because it came with the uh, exclusive lunch box and that is what they considered the replacement for a hit or if they're supposed to have a hit and Tops just uh, dropped the ball. So let's hope not. Um, I took a knee before I started, uh, said, a, said a little prayer for my hit, and uh, as promised, let's dig in and see what we have. So this, again, is the 2020 Late to School Collector's Edition box. So inside of here, we should have a uh, blind lunch pail, so one of four colors. Um, you know, I've looked at them all. Boy, I like them. Um, that purple, though. That purple lunchbox is what I am hoping for. So we're gonna open this up and we have the, okay, so we got a green one. Um, yeah, well, it's pretty cool. Look at this, um, it's tiny. It's like, a, like my wife's purse that she would take to a black tie dinner. Um, you know, it's not very big. Uh, the size of my hand is bigger than the lunchbox. Uh, on the side, we've got, uh, oh, this is pretty cool. It's got some nice artwork, um, report card, epic fail, um, snotology, uh, barf juice. Um, <laughs> this is some good artwork. So here's the front. Uh, um, it's got a high school football theme. I, you know, I kind of like that. It's, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> You know what, this is this is kind of neat. So um, definitely this will go up on my uh, uh, shelf, um, my collectible shelves. Um, I like this, I'll probably keep this. Um, you know, if you were hoping for a lunchbox and a thermos, that would be an awful small thermos. Um, I don't think I could take this to work. It would hold a sandwich, maybe 10 chips and a juice box. So um, unless you're, you know, six or below, well, <laughs> Probably not a usable uh, lunchbox, but um, it is good. It looks like it's made well, so uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So inside of here, we should have uh, our late to school 2020 garbage pail kid card. So let's open this up and see what we've got. Oops, it's the wrong way. So we're gonna turn it this way and open this up and I will let you take a look. So, uh, it's packed well, it's got something to protect the cards in there. and. As you see in here, it's got a, a nice little plastic thing, and of course you've got your packs. Um, let's go ahead and kind of dump these out. Let's let's dump all the packs out. How's that? So just take a look underneath. Um, 24 packs in this. Eight stickers per pack. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course your collectible lunchbox. I like that. I am going to set that up here because that's pretty cool. So we've got our packs. Looks like they're uh, well packed in there. I think Tops did a good job with that. We'll save this just uh, for the heck of it in the box. And I always try to pick um, from the right side and three packs in. It's kind of my history whenever I open up these hobby boxes or collector boxes. So there's one, there's two, and here's three. We're gonna open this up live and here we go. 
Again, Tops 2020, late for school. Collector's box. So, the very first one. I'm not going to read all these off. I do see a, a red right away. Um, for full course mail. Spit Wad Todd. Um, Tudor Tanya. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. Are these numbered? Okay. So, yeah, they are. Uh, 36 to 75. So, this would be a limited parallel. 36 to 75 on the back. It's got GPK Elementary School. We will take a look at a couple of these backs, but as we get good cards, I'm just going to set them aside. Um, and then, of course, we've got, uh, looks like this is going to be the standard parallel, and it looks to be black. Yep, GPK report card. No number on the back of this one, so this would be their standard parallel, and we've got Cheater Peter. Um, and then, over here, we've got <laughs> Share Leader and can't wake up oh this is from uh what was the movie oh goodness gracious um oh it's cute card i think it's a movie parody um I, i'm sure it'll come to me as we're going so i'm going to set these aside and then we're going to take two more away and then we're going to open this one here we go live on facebook again we're looking for that hit in this hobby or this collector's box 2020 garbage pail kids late school so Hal Pass, Exorbent, Skip Man Winkle, Say Cheese Louise, Heather Ball, again, that's your parallel. Looks like that's a puzzle back. Miller <laughs> Old Gloria. Uh, Vanna Halo, oh, okay, all right, that's pretty cool. And it looks like this will tell you what a puzzle will look like when it's completed. So on the back of these, you're gonna have a report card, it looks like on the parallel. Um, puzzle pieces, uh, boy, these are pretty cool. I'm sure that, that puzzle is going to be, um, a, a pretty cool thing when it's, or a pretty cool thing when it's done. Uh, so let's set these aside and then we take one more and then we open up and that, that is, uh, all that she wrote, uh, when it comes to my, nope, we got a, a checklist back the way I open these up. So, all right, let's take a look. Rubbed out Roberts. Again, there's your parallel, Slacker, Slacker Simon. And, oh, nice card. Greta Globe, uh, Memory Lane. Okay, very cool. So my weird tradition did not uh, bear fruit this time. It doesn't mean I don't have a hit. So here we go, pack number four, I believe. And we have Ooh, Chewy Gum. I like that one. That's a cool card. Peyton Airplane, your parallel, Greta Globe, Sheltered Sheldon, Crafty Chris, Always Dwight, and a memorable. Was it memorable? Oh, mem mesmerizing Mike. Okay. And again, we're looking for that one hit, especially live here on Facebook. Uh, here we go. Again, the colors look really good. The card quality on these is nice. I especially really like the, the numbers. They're, they're nice and bright this time. It looks like we got a different parallel here. And this is a blue parallel. Burston Thurston. All right. And the blue parallels, again, do have some numbers. So there's 87 of 99 and a blue parallel. So we're going to set the blue one up here with the red one since they are numbered. Of course, you've got your standard parallels there. Very cool. Sometimes if you go through these too fast, you'll miss things like artist autographs, um, stuff like that. So you always do want to be careful when you're when you're opening your packs and you're checking for everything. I know the last series had some glow in the dark cards that a lot of people at first didn't even know that was in there. So again, your parallel and promo. Uh, what is this? Give me a Gia. <laughs> Late to school, 2020, Topps Garbage Pail Kids. So I remember as a kid, I used to buy these wax packs. And you know, I've talked about this before. You got them from different types of grocery stores and convenience stores, um, Kmarts, and those types of places. So um, opening these up, a uh, really nice card there. Opening these up brings back a lot of nostalgia. I tell you, when this, this got delivered, um, <laughs> I was like a kid in a candy store here as... As a 40-something year old person, um, you know, who, who lived in the 80s and bought these in the 80s and rode his bike to buy these, 
Um, a lot of nostalgia opening these up. Um, I always like doing it. They're a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, they're worth it to me. They're, they're of course, much more expensive. I think uh, your collector's box will run you right around $100. There's $36.99 for the blue parallel. Very nice. Um, and then your hobby boxes will be $40, $45, things like that. Uh, so not uh, not super expensive. Of course, they're, they're quite a bit more than they were in 1985 when I was buying that beautiful pink wax pack. Um, but, hey, still fun to open up. Uh, Pierce Pressure, $42.99. Um, you know, in the collector's box, I was expecting to get uh, quite a bit more of these. Um, almost one per pack, and I, and I know they don't always do that, uh, but you know, you just expect to get something fun from these. Um, so again, I'm still looking for that hit. I have not hit that sketch card or that elusive plate card. Boy, I'd love to pull one of those live. Um, and in this pack, it looks like we got another red. I do see that back there. So those seem to be a little rarer, of course, than the others. Um, and this one is Blue Ribbon Randy. That's a nice card, and he's 25 of 75, so I like that. I kind of miss that uh, that that gold-type foil that tells you what number they are, and maybe that'll come with the other parallel of the rainbow, which is the gold-bordered, oh, gold um, or gold-dust, or gold-bordered, however you want to call that card. Um, and again, I, I, I've read, I don't think a lot of these things have um, guaranteed a hit, so... We very well could open up a collector's box that was around $100 and possibly not get a hit. Um, you know, on if you're shopping on eBay and you see those uh, advertisements, hot pack, hot pack, uh, guaranteed sketch, guaranteed gold or blood red or, or things like that. You know, I was wondering how people find those. You know, do they do they bend the packs around? And if they do, you know, I'd be upset buying some cards that were all bent up. And... Uh, you know, besides that, are they, uh, are they, uh, are they, do they weigh them? Are they weighed more? Um, are they heavier? Do you just know by feeling? Can you see something? You know, of course you can't see that in a hobby box or a sealed collector's box, but those, uh, fat packs and, and, uh, and other boxes that you see on eBay, I just wanted to know how they do that. So if, if you know, message me, let me know. So Suck Up Sasha, Suck Up Sasha is 72, 75. So that's pretty cool. You know, the later numbers of these or the earlier numbers of these seem to be popular, of course. And then for those, if it's a good character and you're looking to make your rainbow, well, there you go. You always want uh, probably the best number that you can get that uh, someone is selling. All right, so uh, we're in the second uh, stack already and, and no hit yet. Um, again, these are nice looking cards, though. Good card stock. They're nice. They're shiny. Um, I like the parallels. Oh, there's our hit. So it looks like we got an artist autograph, um, something I haven't got before, Smoking Joe. So uh, I'm kind of stoked to get that. I, I'll be really honest. I, I've never had a Smoking Joe autograph card. Um, he's an iconic artist for the Garbage Pail Kids. Um, and wow, that's really cool. And this is gold foiled number. So let's take a look at this. This is number 31 out of 35. So it looks like artist autographs this year instead of 25 are going to be 35 so 31 of 35 that is our hit smoking joe autograph so really cool autograph there oh boy i'm super excited i'm glad i got a hit i was worried about not getting a hit uh, because people have been opening boxes without hits and i didn't want that to be me so live here on youtube boom there's our hit, Smokin' Joe Autograph. Not a plate card, not a sketch card, but you know what's cool is I have heard stories where people have gotten or posted more than one hit per box. So maybe we'll get another another hit, who knows? Um, these are beautiful cards. I know I, I, I keep going back there, but they're, I don't know if my, my camera here can do it justice, but look at that sheen on these cards. They're beautiful non-die cut, cut. The, the numbers are great. Um, the back's got report cards, which are cool. Can't handle fast-paced class. Uh, very quiet student in science and physical education, non-toxic personality. So 
Um, they spent some time on this. I'm, I'm really excited that they did something new this time around for tops. And I know a lot of you folks out there are, are thinking, do I spend $100 on a collector's box or more? Or do I save my money for that uh, Chrome 3 that potentially is, is coming out? So do you save your money for that? I don't know. Chrome is beautiful. I love the baseball cards. I love the Garbage Pail Kids. I think Chrome is just absolute beautiful cards. So I would say, yeah, you, you know, you probably want to save your money for that. Um, Pencil Holden, <laughs> like pin face from the 80s, um, 25 at 99. So pretty cool. Nice number. And again, I, I really like those blue parallels. Those are pretty cool. Um, we're going to keep going here because who knows, maybe we're going to get another hit. And, uh, I love play cards. They're my favorites. Love to have one of those. I'll take a patch card. You know, right now I'll take anything uh, for another hit. Uh, suspended Susan. Ron bragging it. Um, Heather Ball. Suck up Sasha again. Um, that one is Smoking Joe. So it kind of looks like a Greaser Greg throwback from the 80s. Pretty cool parallel there. And Pencil Holden. So that is uh, the non-parallel. And... SPD. <laughs> SPD. Goodness gracious. I, you know, I kind of wonder, do you ever watch shows like South Park or, or, you know, look through your Garbage Pail Kid collection or, and think, how do they come up with this? These, these people, you know, they're talented. Not only are they great artists, but they're funny, they're talented, they know what the public likes. And again, you know, if you're just watching this and you are not part of the Garbage Pail Kid marketplace on, on Facebook, you need to be because that's where the artists are. They're posting their work. They're letting you buy um, sketches from them. Uh, you know, they, they take your feedback. They're excited um, to hear what the community says. So again, I, I can't can't mention enough. If you want to get out there and, and join uh, one of those uh, forums on Facebook, then go ahead and do that. Here's our red, and this is Scarlet Sprinkles. Great, beautiful card. I'm glad I got a red one of that. Um, so that parallel is cool, and it's 26 to 75. So really nice parallel, really well done card. Um, I'm going to do some more investigation of who that artist is. You know, I don't know. Um, stock, Maggie, that is just, it's beautiful. It's got the purples in it. Um, that's what really drew me to Dead Ted um, when I was uh, a kid. So, um, you know, those types of colors. So here we go. We're down to just a couple more packs. We did get our hits. Again, our hit is that Smoke and Joe autograph. So super excited about that. Um, doesn't mean we won't get another hit. Um, but who knows lunch tray I've seen that actually already so that's a that's that's been the card kind of floating around that they used as some promotional uh, material as well lunch tray so um, you know I don't know which one really is my favorites uh, thus far so I haven't maybe made a decision on on what plate to hunt down online if it becomes for sale but oh nice alchemy huh well, that's a nice looking card. Hmm. Let's set him down there because boy, that, that seems pretty iconic right there. And, and, uh, I think that might be my favorite thus far. Decorated Desiree. And this is number four of 99. So nice, no low, low number. Someone looking to make a rainbow can always pick up probably that from me as well. You can message me on YouTube. Um, here we go. One of these days, as as uh, my views start coming up, and if you guys are interested in watching me open more stuff, we'll probably do a live opening, um, and then we'll pick a quick raffle at the end, and someone will actually walk away with the hit that comes in there. And now that hit may just be a parallel, but who knows? Might be a sketch card or something like that. So um, keep watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for me. Oh, here it is—a red one, the red parallel alarm bell. Good looking card, looks good with the red parallel there. And that is number 26 of 75, 26 of 75. Very nice, gonna put them up there. And of course, got memory lane, regular parallel, enemy. Um, Timmy, that Timmy. Okay, so um, I was taking a look at that Timmy here because I thought, well, that's kind of a neat one too. So I don't know which one now is my favorite. Um, three more packs left and we're still looking for our second hit in that collector's box. 
Um, I don't know if you consider that lunch pail a hit, but it sure is um, a really cool addition this year. So copycats, uh, which you and some, you know, that just looks really good. Looks like the cards in the 80s. I like that. So this is, uh, looks like bad card for bad kids. Garbage jail kids late to reform school. Eight shredded cards. And so this is going to be your wacky packages sticker. Um, I do believe you're guaranteed to get one of these in a collector's box. Um, so people will be looking to make sets of this. This is 10 of 10. And you know what? That's pretty cool. Um, I really like that card. Looks nice. Um, and that is um, actually considered a hit, I guess, this time around. So you're not really going to pull a whole series of those unless you're trading and buying or you're one of those persons that uh, buys these by the case and breaks them open. So um, when this is all said and done, I'll kind of put in the notes down below if this is, in fact, um, a full set like previous collector boxes would give you. Uh, we'll find out, but uh, second to last pack, here we go. Brad Influence, including Glenda. Um, yep, already Shy Guy. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Buck Tooth, GPK for life. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to make a decision here on which one of those is going to be my favorite. <laughs> Bad Influence. All right, last pack. You know, it doesn't feel like there's a there's a plate in there, so not that I would really be able to tell you if there was a plate in there anyway, but here we go. We open it up again. We got that checklist on the back. That's cool that they brought that back again. Very nostalgic. School was garbage. Year Booker. Uh, <laughs> well done. Now, I, I've only seen him once. I don't know who his, um, his B side is. Uh, and, and maybe I have already gone through that and um, <laughs> nervous, Neil. But uh, I may not have a full set here. That's a good card. I'm going to set that over there. So uh, Ringing Ringo. Of course, that's the parallel there. Beautiful. Um, last one. It looks like I got a blue one. So Disruptive Dylan. <laughs> Spitball. Sucked in face. Uh, 33 of 99 on that parallel there. Um, still very cool. So excited to have that one. And last couple cards, or he's chased, um, last eight. Wow. Okay, so, I, you know, I know I keep going through these packs saying, oh, I really like that one, I really like that one. I think this is going to be my card. Um, I'm going to go and, and look for a rainbow of last Dayton. Um, last day of school, I remember how fun that was when I was a kid, uh, running out of there. And um, checklist back, very cool. Um, so looking for some parallels of him, possibly a plate that would be great. An autograph sketch, uh, or an autograph card or a sketch card would be even better. So a lot of stuff going off on this one. Of course, he's running out of school. It's my last day. Does anyone remember doing that? I definitely do. So he's my favorite. I'm going to put him up there again. This is what we have. We have uh, blue and red. We, of course, have our wacky packages, which I'm assuming tops this time is considering uh, this uh, uh, pretty much a hit. So very nice card. Um, very cool. And, of course, our hit this time around live on YouTube was Smoking Joe, that autograph, Smoking Joe autograph. Such a beautiful card. Um, excited to have that in 31 of 35. So that is our hit. That is the 2020 Garbage Pail Kids Late to School Collector's Box um, opened up live today. And before we go, we just want to talk a little bit about some of the odds. So we'll kind of go through here. It says approximate odds per pack of finding uh, base parallels. The Spit Blues are 1 in 8. Bloody Nose Red are 1 in 10. Um, Fool's Gold is 1 in 134. Printing plate, 1 in 531. That's not bad odds. Artist autograph, 1 in 61. So a majority of your hits are probably going to be these artist autographs, which are still really cool as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, so wacky packages, 1 in 24. Um, so that is, uh, I guess, going to be a hit. Um, school pennant patches are 1 in 74. I didn't get one of those. A shaped catch sketch card is 1 in 122. Hmm, I, hmm, that's good odds. 
And uh, it looks like the trip sketch card there is 1 in 723. So it doesn't give us an odd for, oh yeah, the printing plate, I'm sorry, is 1 in 531. So it looks like the hardest one to get is, of course, the trip sketch cards, and they always are. Um, <laughs> they don't, artists don't do a lot of them because I'm sure they take a lot of time. And when people get them, uh, that is kind of a holy grail depending on what you got. But those printing plates, and I love those printing plates, one in 531. So that's pretty steep this time around, but they do have some other stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again, hit that like and subscribe. More unboxing videos coming up. And as our subscription grows here with you viewers, um, we'll probably be doing some giveaways. Uh, I don't know if I'll give away that lunchbox, but if I happen to uh, maybe pick another one up, that's probably will be my first giveaway. So someone that didn't want to go out and get that collector's box can go ahead and have that display lunchbox. Again, this is Retro Hero. Uh, thank you to all my GPK fam out there for watching my videos. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing for the 2020 Late to School Garbage Pail Kids Collector's Box. All right, take care.